Hello, I'm John Brindell with Agile Off-Road in Santee, California. And I'm Jonathan Osborne, National Sales Manager for Class B Products at Tiffin Motorhomes. At Agile Off-Road, we've been uh, we've been in business for eight years now. We just celebrated our eighth year. Um, we've got a small shop in uh, Santee, California. We've got a long history of off-road racing, myself and my partners. Um, been in the aftermarket for approximately, I don't know, my whole life, about 30, 30 years. I've been selling uh, aftermarket products and developing parts for off-road racing, uh, both street racing and, and off-road. And now we've been developing parts for the last few years as I've gotten older to, into the RV line. Awesome. Tiffin Motorhomes, we've been in business since 1972. We're founded by Bob Tiffin. He's a legend in the RV industry. Top of the class in Class A's, Class C's, and now we're very excited to launch our new Class B vans. And uh, they're built in Red Bay, Alabama. We have a huge campus there where all the production is completed. We've got a paint facility and a massive aftermarket uh, service facility. All right, so this is the brand new Tiffin GH1. It's a 19 foot, 144 inch wheelbase Sprinter 2500 on the brand new four cylinder all wheel drive chassis. Uh, it's a great van. We've completely just built this thing from the ground up for durability and for the highest materials and components that we could select. So there's no plywood in this van. It's all composite materials on the floor, composite in the ceiling. It's fully insulated with a nice waterproof synthetic wool. Um, just all the attention to detail. True alder wood with laminated on the wood, completely very strong and durable aluminum frame cabinetry. And then of course our partners here, they put an awesome suspension system on it. So it's truly equipped and ready for off-road adventure. So what we've done with Tiffin is we've uh, offered them uh, kind of a stage one for uh, shock absorbers. We've got the new uh, 2.5 digressive valve shocks in the rear. Along with that, we've also put in a beefier bracket system, which we've, uh, we've seen some shortcomings with the Mercedes design on these aftermarket products, so we've increased the durability there. As well on the front, we've included an auxiliary shock, uh, again with the Fox 2.0. These are tuned for the RV market, and we do have more improvements that can be done with the, with the van. John, um, one of the things that was important to us was to for the, the new owner to be able to leave the lot ready to go. And we all know the stock suspension system is really weak on a Sprinter van. So we were really excited to add that, and we wanted them to have something that they could be proud of, but then grow deeper if they wanted to make a further investment. So how did we, uh, how did we arrive at this solution? So for you guys, we looked at this as like you know, what you can do at the factory, um, not slow down the production, still keep the maintain the high quality that you guys want. Um, and we've chosen to just add additional damping forces, both front and rear. Auxiliary shocks are a little bit more technical install, but you guys have been doing a great job tackling that. And in the rear, uh, we've got the upper and lower bracketry that you install. Um, all that's been designed by us. Um, much bolt on, it's not evasive. We're not having to go and do any welding, uh, cutting, drilling of holes in the rear, and it just bolts right on. Along with that, we can now, your client can now, after they purchase this, we can do some more improvements to it. But off the lot, you guys kind of covered that pretty well, stage one for them. You know, better day. So I know the rip, the ride improvement package, right? Everybody loves it. Yeah. It's a new leaf pack. Is it easy to add on to this system? Pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, yeah we have a, de a dealer network across the country, but we can add the leaf spring in the rear. What the leaf spring does, there's a huge advantage of the leaf spring. Um, Mercedes on the all-wheel drive chassis, they add a three and a half inch spacer block in the rear. So three and a half inch is about this big. Um, the van's in kind of in high heels. One of the bigger improvements is replacing the right improvement packages, replacing the rear springs. This puts the van um, kind of in flats in the rear. And in the front, we're going to add additional spring force with the uh, with the coil assist in there. And then we also have additional damping forces, which we've supplied with both Coney and the And so, I mean, that 2.5 is a pretty impressive shock in its own, right? The 2.5 is right now, it's the, the, the top of the food chain when it comes to it. We've developed that with Fox. They've done a lot of testing with us. We chose the 2.5 because of its digressive valve. Um, digressive valving gives you more low speed control. Think of low speed control as when you're pulling in and out of the driveway. Um, you don't get the rocking back and forth with the head draining. So you guys have really covered that pretty well uh, right off the bat. And then some of the improvements can be done. They will be noticeable, but 
right off the bat you guys have covered it really really well one thing we notice is especially on like just really choppy roads maybe not rock climbing in a sprinter van but right i see is it the degressive valving that's creating the ability to just smooth out that ride yeah because again you're you're dealing when what that is is when you get into that they call it brain damage on the road that's actually considered high speed so what happens is uh, you hit a little bump and you hit it really, really fast. So they, they, that becomes a high speed dip. So what digressive valving does is it has that, that good low speed control, but when you hit a sharp bump like that, the shock doesn't ramp up and make give you first for a you know, step bump. Yeah, it does a great job. I mean, on road and off road, it's phenomenal yeah. performance. So. Yeah, and it's and, and it's been set up primarily for this 144, the, the weights that you guys are coming in at, and also how the clients are using. So if somebody, I mean, a lot of guys like to put 275s on this. I mean, the van's not lifted, right? But it does no. seem like it sits yeah. higher yeah. and ground clearance is a premium. Yeah. And so to do to go to like a larger tire, what does that look like? So pretty simple. Um, with, with this, you can't put on the larger size tires. You will need to do a little bit of clearancing in the front. Uh, we have a no rub pin in there. It's a pretty much a simple bolt on. A uh, little bit, little bit, little bit of technical work there on the, the bottom corners, but it will bolt on, allow you to run the two separate things. Yeah. So it sounds like with the partnership, we got a great van coming off the lot with a much better suspension system, but it's really easy to grow. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah no worries. Yeah. No worries.